Hi, so I'd like to show you um, some tips for working with the tabs on the calendar if you want to go into the day and the week view or the month view and kind of move things around or change appearance. Um, what we'll be doing in this little exercise is following these instructions for adding a scroll bar to the month view because um, that kind of shows uh, a, lot of the, a lot of the things that you'd want to play with. Um, so let's, let's dive in. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty straightforward. So the first thing to notice is that the tabs here are actual native tabs in FileMaker. So if we click here, we can even work with them in layout mode, which is nice. I think I moved this a couple pixels up in my last demo. Yeah. So, so that's cool. Um, and we can see the day view already has a scroll bar, which is pretty cool. Um, but let's say we want to get at some of these stacked objects on the month view. That's the, the first kind of tricky thing is how, how do we do that? So the way that I do it is I grab the portal here and make it just 10 rows high. So once I do that, I kind of take a note of how high that is. That's 151 uh, points. And then I just make it bigger. So I drag it down. This gives me a canvas within the first row where I can put other objects and move things around. And the key is that as I do this, all these objects will always stay within the first row of the portal. So they'll always be bound in the portal and, that, and thus also be bound in this month tab. So let's start unstacking these. I grab the first object and again, I notice it's top. So it's at 109 pixels. So I just drag it down. I hold down the shift key so it doesn't move left and right. And if I'm new to this, I might write down over here 109 to remember that that's the height of that object. That's the top of it. It was 109. Uh, its top was at 109 points. Uh, then I grab the next object. What's that? Oh, that one was at 110. So I come down here. I'll bring it down here and maybe write down 110. Those are the only two heights uh, or top point uh, positions you need to remember. Um, and then I can just kind of keep on stacking these. So what is this one? This is 109. I can drag it down here. And you can see now that I can change the conditional formatting on these if I don't like this color for the days of the month. I can grab this one. It's 109 and, and grab it down and play with it. And then I can, I don't need to move this one because it's, it's the last object. Um, so then when I want to, I've changed the conditional formatting. Maybe I want to put these back the way I do it as I just grab them and change their top. So this was 109 and this one was 109. And this one was 109. And this one was 109. Oh, this, this was 110, sorry. 110, up it goes. Then I can delete these two. Then I grab this object, and how big was this? This was 151 at 10 rows high, and then put the rows back. It was 36 rows. So now we've gone into the month view, played around with it, and repaired it, uh, which is cool. So let's say we want to do something uh, left to right. We want to either change the width of the rows or add a scroll bar. Okay, this is similar, but uh, we run into some issues with kind of the edge of the layout. And um, this is really easy to do, but if you haven't worked with this part of FileMaker 12 before, it's kind of interesting. What we're talking about is this this edge where I put my cursor up here and you get these two uh, up and right, up and down uh, little lines. This is actually moving the edge of the layout uh, around. And that's going to come into play when we, uh, when we do this. So let's say we want to add a scroll bar here. So first thing we do is we just double click on the portal and add the scroll bar. All right, that's great, except that it kind of cuts in, inward um, and cuts off a little bit of this last day. So I could make all of these fields a little bit narrower. Um, it's actually quite cumbersome. Um, so I'm just going to make the whole thing a little bit wider, the whole portal a little bit wider. But before I do, I have to remember that this portal is bound inside a tab control, right, inside this, this tab control. And I need to make that wider too. So the first thing I want to do is just kind of move that tab control over and make it wider so that I have some more room. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is grab the uh, portal and make it just just wide enough so that I, I don't have to so that the scroll bar doesn't cover this day. All right. Well, now that I've done that, you can see the stuff's all kind of lining up. Um, I can grab the edge of the layout and move it over to the edge of the tab control. And to make sure I'm right about that, I'll probably grab the tab control and say, "Where are we? All right, we're at one two one four. That's our rightmost edge. Deselect everything. Grab this. Good. One two one four. That's also the same." That's great, except that that's not actually where I want the edge of my layout. I want the tab control to be nestled up with the edge of the portal. So it's over here. So tab control is now 1182. Grab the portal. That's 1183. So we have to undo that. Let's bring this back over to 1183. 1183. Perfect. And then we can move this over to 1183. Whoop, you have to have only one object selected in order for that to work. 1183. Three. Perfect. Good. So now the tab is 1183. The portal is 1183. Oop, don't move it up. And the edge of our layout is 1183. So we have to get rid of this white bar up here. Let's uh, arrange, unlock this. 
move this object down, grab the one behind it, move the two of them over to 1183, good, and put this one back up. There's actually a little horizontal bar across the top here. This little guy right here, I can just make it uh, 1183 also. Whoop. Can be a little hard to select. 1183, great. Um, and now if we go into browse mode, we should get a good looking layout. Good, the day view still looks good. Actually, I see I didn't move these bars over on the day view, so they still look weird. But the month view should look nice. Good. So the only trouble is, is it doesn't really scroll much now. So in order to actually get more rows here, we have to edit two scripts. Again, these are in our instructions, but uh, let's just take a look at the scripts. Um, the first one is the configuration script here that says how many rows whoop, in total um, are you using for the calendar. You want something that's divisible by um, six, uh, so I'm going to pick 78. And you then edit this script to say how many rows per day are going to show up. And again, uh, I want 13. So with those changes made, all I have to do is go into scripts and run the upon opening script again, and we should get a nice looking calendar that's uh, a good bit bigger. So let's go back again. We haven't really messed with uh, widening the objects on the day view. We go to the month view, and look at that, 13 rows per day, a nice big calendar that we can scroll if we want to make this uh, you know, bigger. Um, it's uh, that look pretty good on a nice monitor. Now remember, there are two layouts here. There's this layout that has the sidebar, and there's this one that doesn't. And we haven't changed that one yet. So we did our script work, so it's still big, but it doesn't have a scroll bar yet. We'll want to do that same layout work on this uh, this one as well. But I hope that gives you an idea of how to kind of get into these tabs, move objects around, and um, Feel free to edit this uh, as you see fit. Oh, see this little bar here? So all these little other guys you got to kind of move over. So we want to make sure this guy snugs up. And again, we haven't done the day view. We just did the month view. And that's starting to look nicer. All right. Uh, enjoy.